as you can see, water in there. I promise you the stop dogs. There it is. And you just shut it off. Like so. Switched off outside, so I'm double check to make sure it is completely switched off and there's a lot of flood everywhere. As you can see, not a single drop coming out, so we know it's completely switched off. What will eventually happen is we're connected to here, which is the rest of the property. So I'll just take a bunch of adjustable swallows, cut it on. It is a bit tight, but a one good spin and you'll be out. And then, as you can see, it doesn't generally come out straight away, so you get top and then you Now for the stock top, what I tend to do is put PTF on them, just to give them a bit more so tighter seal. But with this, best thing to do, doing it off camera, sorry, is put the PTF on before you put it on, just make that a bit easier for you. PTF on both sides. So again, you don't have to do it while you're trying to have it mounted where the PTF becomes a bit of a tight squeeze. If you look at the video, I have a video where if you do have a problem where you have a tight fitting, tight space, sorry, you are able to put PTFE tape. Best way to do it is a pencil or a, even a screwdriver will do. There is a, I have got a video with that. As you can see, I've put PTF here on both sides. And I'm going to insert this here. You can hear it click. Now all you need to do is tighten this up. First and foremost, tighten it tight by hand. Just so you know it's catchy. You feel it give eventually stop where you physically have to get a set of grips on it. What I tend to do grip it here and just give it a nip up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it off from here. It's pretty solid for me, but I'm going to switch it off here. I'm going to switch on the main water outside and we can test it here to make sure it's not leaking from there. So I'm going to first and foremost, I'm going to nip this, nip this up so that I can then do all the soldering. I've got all the pipe and stuff ready. Off camera, just make it easier. Nice and tight. There we go. Right, now I've sold those together. First and foremost, clean the pipe with a bit of wire wool, emery cloth, whichever. Flux. Now, here I'm putting a T, first and foremost, because I'm going to put drain off. Just in case in future they need to drain off for any reason, there's a drain off in place. And off camera again, cleaning the pipe. Sometimes you clean the pipe and the fitting, you can put flux in the fitting. Everyone has their own way of doing things. But again, whatever's best for you. 
is the best way to do it. Put that in there, as you can see. Make sure you wipe the excess flux off. What I didn't do was tie this up. It's a good clean. Put that in there. Flux are on there. And here. And what I also did off camera, I didn't have it, was put a kick in here just to stop this pipe having a strain on the way it's in place because it could potentially leak or damage the pipe. That one's in. Sometimes it's a bit awkward to get these in. Oops, everything moved. I did test fit before I did this, but as usual, it never does the way you want it to. Do. Now to also put a bit of flux on the end of that, pop it in place. What I would advise is to remove this before you solder. Because as you can see, the two washers, they're likely to burn. Right. And it's solid. So what he did advise me was to use the lid, metal lids and stuff from tubs rather than solder mat. So I gave it a shot. We only did 15 mils, so about there would be fine. It was really hard because I was doing a barbecue of the weekend and I used it to light the barbecue. Then one more, test it. You'll see the flux bubbling, I don't know if you can see on camera. Keep the fitting, again, everyone has their own way of doing this. And you literally see the solder just whip round when it's nice and ready. I always told, always taught to eat the fitting, not the pipe. Some people like warm the pipe, some people do the fitting, the corners, everyone's uh, in there all day. You can see, just whip it around itself. It's cooled down now. I tied it up with a bit of wire wool, just went over, cleaned it, now I'm going to replace this back in here. Gonna close this up. And we have perfect. As you can see, there's no leaks, and it's on. Just to prove the water supply is actually working. There you go. You can see the water is on. Thanks for watching. Bye.